like that. Let's just do it on the last two that we did. Duplicate layer. Let's go to rast rasterize. Turn off the effects. Edit skew. Okay. And go to filter, Gaussian blur. And final one, duplicate layer. Take the bottom one, rasterize it, turn off the effects, go to edit skew, that's uh, so okay, and filter Gaussian blur. Alright, uh, looks pretty cool so far, uh, let's uh, we can even edit this further and make the background look a little bit cool. So let's go to the line tool, let's make it slightly darker than the background, hit OK. Let's go to the very top layer, so actually no, go to the very bottom layer. And with the shift key held down, let's make a diagonal line. And let's just duplicate that once and hit the right arrow key about three times. Now let's make it four. And let's duplicate it again. One, two, three, four. Duplicate again. One, two, three, four. Now let's uh, hold shift down and select those four layers and go to merge layers. And then duplicate these. And just shift them over so they're evil, even. Merge those, duplicate. Oops, merge those layers and then duplicate again. And we're going to do this till we get all the way across. It fills up the entire background. There might be an easier way to do this, but I honestly haven't looked into it, so... It's just, uh... It's pretty quick, though. I don't really mind it. Merge layers. Almost there. One more duplicate. Obviously, we're not going to leave it like this. We're going to adjust it. Merge layers. Now let's bring it in the middle. Okay. Now let's take the... Uh, let's just duplicate this here. Save a copy of it. And hide the background layer. And let's go to... Make it a very... Almost completely transparent. Or we can make it all the way up and go to edit. No, to go to image adjustments, brightness, con and, and saturation or contrast, and make the brightness all the way down. And there, and now it's like completely black, and that looks pretty cool. Let's duplicate it. it. Makes it even a little bit more. So just merge those real quick. All right. Uh, now let's. Uh, Add a little text effect. This used to be real big, this sort of thing. Uh, you can type anything you want, actually, like, hello, good day. And let's make the point, let's make a six point. And people can't even read it, really. Now let's just make another one here. And we'll put zero one or something. Uh, that people will be able to read. And let's put something like right here. Proceed. Make it six point. What is the purpose? Well, there really isn't. It's just like a, a graphical element, really. Let's put this at the top here. Make it white. All right, uh, and there you go. You can uh, use this to do pretty much anything you want. Any type of like a uh, really important button or whatever. I wouldn't use it uh, on most sites, certainly, but uh, 
Uh, I definitely, it, it definitely is pretty cool looking though. Uh, you can play around with it and adjust the size and actually, oops, remove that bottom layer. Oh, what am I doing? Oops, wrong one. Make it bigger or do whatever you want with it, of course. And there you go. Uh, a crazy, insanely graphic button.